light, see? There's a light behind us, light behind us. Okay. People of God, that's Joseph. He is here in live and living colors. Yes. That's Joseph right there. Say hello. Let hello, them know you're everybody. in Connecticut. <clears throat> God bless you. I'm here with Mama. <laughs> We're in Connecticut Life and Direct. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. God bless you all. May all the prayer that you've been praying, may God answer all your prayer this year in the name of Jesus. This year will be a great year. All I just want to tell everybody on this platform is to believe in God. And I want to advise you to go deeper in prayer this year. Because this year, God is going to do mighty things. And I want us to be aligned with the mighty move of God this year, 2022. Because God is going to move through the nations, Africa, Asia, every part. God is going to move. But I want us to be in alignment so that we can understand what God is doing in this present season. Because he has showed some things to me. And all I can tell the church is to be in alignment so that you can fulfill what God what God has destined for you this year. And I want you to go deeper in prayer as per the, the, the pandemic. Do not worry. Just be safe. Say it again. And God, do not, do, not Say it. Say it again. do not worry. Say that again. Do not worry. Do not worry. Amen. Just be safe. And God is going to take care of everything. But let me tell you, it's not going to come near you. It's not going to come near your family. You are preserved and you are protected in the name of Jesus. As you go your ways this year, may the Lord go with you. May the angel of the Lord be with you, guide you, keep you strong. And you need to grow more in prayer because this year will be a year of intercession. This year will be a year of prayer that we all need to stand and intercede for the church. Because this year there will also be persecution. But God is going to save his people, the loved ones. And let me tell you something that I need to understand. This year, God is setting people on fire. Those people that are valuable. So you must make yourself available so that God can use you mightily just as the way we are making ourselves available. And I want you to be ready for it. And I pray for you. Every enemy that has they crossed, the hearts. every they enemy that has it. crossed with you, you into this year 2022 that they want to do any evil in your life, I pray that God destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. That no evil will come near you as you continue to dwell under the shelter of the Almighty. As you continue to dwell in a secret place, it will guide you, it will strengthen you and protect you. And no arm will come near you this year, 2022. Every of your heart desire, just as our faces are different, our heart desires are different. But let me tell you something, your heart desire will be granted in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In, in Jesus' heaven. name, in heaven and earth, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom. You can talk to Mama now. <laughs> Brother Devin, you have a quick encouragement to give um, the, the platform. Come. Quick encouragement. Okay. They don't see you um, as often, but it's a new year. Just wish them well. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of you. I greet you once more again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and is that stay strong no matter what the outcome or the circumstances I'm begging you I plead to you stay strong most of all stay strong in Jesus Christ because only he can make you strong and therefore once you build whatever you build in on him there will be no failure there will be no destruction destruction may come but you won't be able to take you over because when you make God be your rock, when he is your shield, when he is your hiding place, when he is your comforter, mm -hmm. when he is everything to you, mm -hmm. there's no way you can lose. Amen. And with God, you stand every chance. But with, with, without him, you are nothing. So I wish you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you stay strong, stay faithful and obedient to him in everything you do. Put him first. And so shall it be. Have a great one. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. God bless you. Come on. People of God, Sister Johnson is coming on, so now she have a quick message for those of you for the new year. Come on, come on up, let them see your face. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, this year, introduce yourself. Oh, I am Alicia Johnson. This year, may God's grace, favor, and mercy continue to locate you all. My word of encouragement is to trust the process. 
trust the process. Um, if God wills you, if God wills it, you can fulfill it. There is no test without a testimony. So trust the process, keep the faith, and I'm done. Your face looks so good on camera. <laughs> Say something else. <laughs> God encourage bless you all. Encourage somebody who's trying to get married. Encourage somebody who's trying to For get married. For those into that want to get married, mm -hmm. wait on the Lord. Yes. I'll tell you what I did. My heart was so buried in Christ, man mm -hmm. had to seek him first to get to me. And that Amen. is exactly what happened. So Amen. wait on the Lord, pray without ceasing, and he will grant you the desires of your heart. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. You see, there are a lot of young women out there like yourself who are not married. And some of them, they want to know what to do or what you did in order to cross that, you know, that fence. Because it's not easy right. at certain age, especially when God is giving a second chance. Some were divorced, you know, some was in relationship, it didn't work out, they have kids. They need to know what to do to get to the next level. So there are all kind of people on the platform that, that are waiting for their breakthrough. And to work on yourselves while waiting. Amen. Work on you see the key word work on yourselves. It means that get rid of that temper. Stop trying to do it your own way. Wait mm -hmm. on the Lord. God bless you. God 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 take bless care you. of you. Bless. Be blessed. People of God, it's not easy. See? Once again, we thank God. My heart messed up everything. I took my hat off. Once again, I thank God for each and every one of you. We thank God for the support. I'm hanging out with my son Joseph and his wife. They are awesome. They are an awesome couple. And it's my prayer that this year many of you will give birth to your ministries. Many of you will, you know, find that person that the Lord has for you. And one thing you have to do is prepare yourself. You cannot be in a relationship and you're still asking God to give you a spouse. You have to be available. You have to be prepared. And when preparation meets opportunity, there goes success. So I encourage you, I encourage each and every one of you that are waiting to be married, be prepared for that person that God has prepared for you. We want you to get what God has for you. Not what you chose, but what God chose for you. There is a difference. Many of us, we cannot wait on the Lord and we step out and we make choices. But God has someone special for you. So I came to you tonight. I'm speaking to there's someone that's on the internet looking for a spouse, searching online for a spouse. Wait for that person that the Lord will direct to you. You don't have to go searching for anyone. God will bring it to you. I came to encourage you, wait. Wait on the Lord. Don't push wait on the Lord. There's, there's nothing too hard for God to do in your life. There's nothing that you are doing that God is not aware of. But God wants the glory from your life. So He wants you to wait on Him. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, yes, I feel pushed to pray for someone that is single. Somebody is going through a divorce. I, I feel pushed to pray for someone who has been waiting and still waiting. And decided to wait on the Lord Father in the name of Jesus Christ I said thank you for that brother thank you for that sister who is waiting Lord I thank you for these people oh God that are faithfully waiting on you they are faithfully waiting to give birth they have been walking around mighty God with great ministry trapped inside of them and Lord we ask you in the name of Jesus this is the year that you have given us you said you will crown the year with goodness and fatness will drop in our path and Lord God, we say thank you for what you're about to do in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and we declare every word. We seal it in the blood. We seal it in the blood. Somebody says seal it. We seal it in the blood. In the name of Jesus. You have been waiting for that job. You have been waiting for that house. You have been waiting for that car, that apartment. You have been waiting for that business. You have been waiting to go back to school. You have been waiting on your healing and your deliverance. You have been waiting for the same thing for your children. I came to let you know, God is about to come true for you. Don't let the devil tell you otherwise. You are prepared. It's 2022. We have been praying all year. Now it's time for manifestation. So I decree and I declare upon your life that you will testify. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare you will testify. I love you with the love of the Lord. And remember, Jesus loves you too.
Jesus love you more. Wait. Wait. But while you wait, don't fold your arms. Pray. Pray and believe that he who have started a good work in you will take it to the perfect day of Jesus Christ. It's time for us. We're not going back. We're not dealing with the things that happened in 2021. So when you call me, let's talk about the rest of this year. Don't, don't remind me of last year unless it's a prophecy that came to pass. We are moving forward. We're not going to gossip this year. We're going to work harder. We're going to be better people. Hallelujah. We're going to study the word of God. We're going to be seasoned. Hallelujah. We're going to be seasoned Christian. So when our breakthrough come, we know how to embrace it. When our small beginnings come, according to the book of Zechariah, we're going to embrace it. Amen. We're not going to brush it aside and say, it's just a little something. No. Whatever God gave you, acknowledge it. He said in everything, give thanks. So I leave this word with you. I'm going to finish enjoying and praying with my son. I leave this word with you. Have a wonderful evening. If the Lord touch me and strengthen me later, you will see me. So stay blessed and be blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stay blessed and be blessed of the Lord.